Hey you, have you ever experienced this crazy phenomenon where your drawing in a boring class is so good but when you try drawing at home it looks like it's from a toddler? Like why does this even happen to you? Why is that our doodles in class is so much better than computer at home? So here's what you'll learn in this video. You will know the reason why your doodles in class are so good and you can apply it to everything else in your life. Just know that I am not promoting or encouraging you to not focus on school because I just want to tell you my discoveries that I found based on my situation. Also, stay tuned till the end of the vid because I will be announcing something big, something that I know that you want to really know. So, here's a funny story. I actually thought about this discovery of why we do so good in a boring class during a boring class. So, as I was getting my jelly brain to think, suddenly it all clicks and it led me to this rule this blueprint that you guys can follow environment plus restrictions equals to flow state now i'll explain all this because it probably doesn't make sense to you right now so environment it is the things around you just try to envision what is the environment like let's take mass class for example this Cheers, those cringy, inspiring quotes about mass related stuff. You notice that all of the things around you are related to mass. Even the teacher is forcing you to only talk about mass in that class. So when you're at home, the environment around you has to relate to that task. Everything in the room has to contribute to what you are doing. For example, a game station shouldn't be there since it's not related to your task drawing. Next is restrictions, what you cannot use during this period. You can't go on your phone while class, nor can you leave the class as you please unless the class is finished. But with all this, it is very easy to get bored. However, this is the key ingredient because relating back to the scene when we draw at school, we draw because it's a boring class and because we are bored. But is it just me or when you draw in a boring class, you feel so immersed into it. At first it feels sort of forced, but then a while later into drawing it actually feels so amazing and it always ends up enjoyable. That exact feeling is when we get into that amazing flow state. So basically flow state describes a feeling where you're under the right conditions and you, uh, and you become fully immersed into whatever you're doing. Try to recall the best and most enjoyable art that you make. It was most likely when you was completely zoned into that task and you are in a distracted free environment. So with all of that, you have to understand that we as artists have to be in that deep flow state to create good art. But before that step, we need to be bored. So the environments and restrictions will help you achieve this. Okay, so back on my point why we need boredom aka not the scientific facts so when we become bored have you ever noticed that you are always trying to find something to do that is why i tell you to embrace boredom because it's such a hard thing for us to do technically we cannot tolerate boredom and with this this is where the magic happens when you become bored you can basically do anything in order to stay away from that boredom but the question here is why does this happen? Why? When you are doing nothing, you aren't receiving any gratification or dopamine. You sort of feel this pain, this discomfort. So understand that dopamine is like this good feeling that you get from doing a task. Our brain always wants the tasks that give us the most dopamine. So when you switch from doing nothing to a task like washing dishes or going on your phone, you are receiving much more dopamine compared to doing nothing. Notice when you compare drawing at home, you have tons of distractions. There's basically no restrictions on what you should or should not do. So often you are going with what your mind thinks at the moment and it will usually go for the most dopamine. That's why you're spending too much time on social media. And with all of these things around you, it is keeping you out of that boredom state and thus you cannot achieve a flow state. And when you aren't fully in your flow state, it is super duper hard to produce good art that you like or enjoy. It's why you find doodling in class so fun and it is why your art in a boring class is so amazing. 
because you aren't distracted. You are fully locked into that task. I'm telling you my discoveries based on my situation. Yours might be a little different. If you're currently stuck, unable to get into that flow state, you just had to remember this blueprint. In drawing, try to assess your situation. You have already the knowledge of how to get into the flow state, so it's all up to you. I would recommend you to experiment with different things, like a study experiment. For example, this time I will try with heavy restrictions but in a noisy environment, or like a quiet environment but with fewer restrictions so have more access to phone or YouTube. And don't forget to journal your discoveries and how you felt and how it all went. Because with this data you can adjust more variables if you want to keep or change something. Eventually you'll find out what worked well for you so you can perform to the best and achieve that flow state in that task. Now I say why you should experiment because after trying everything out you now know how each thing affects your productivity. Don't forget to stay in tune by hitting that sound. Here's the big announcement. So this video is currently in the making right now so I recently discovered this out and to be honest I don't really want to share it to you because I know that if you get hold of this information then you will probably improve in art way faster than I did which took me like six years. I can see you're paying more attention right now. Here's the little idea of the video. How to actually study art and improve fast. So that's going to be the title. Yep, I know, now you're thinking, KK, this actually seems kind of fishy and sketchy. Yeah, I think so too. But it isn't, trust me, I'm not a scam. Have you ever had those days where you spend a whole day drawing? Technically, you are practicing. And I put those air quotes because by the end of the day, no matter how much drawing you did, you felt like you haven't improved. So there are two types of practice, smart practice and memorization practice. The one you're doing right now is memorization. I will teach you the smart practice and I promise you that 95% of it is definitely not the obvious observe like they always say. I know you guys are sick of that. But still observe actually helps but it's not part of the big thing that I'm going to teach you. I will tell you how you want to work smart not hard. And actually cross the not and put an and. You want to work smart and hard. And that's how you get to improve really fast. Anyways, here's a little about my channel for those who want to know. And this conclusion is already too long. Don't forget to share the video so that other artists can also improve as well. It's really up to you. Did your parents not tell you that sharing is caring? Okay, bye.